Supra is short for cup and racing, and you can really feel both throughout the design of the new 290. The car feels low and powerful to look at, suggesting motion even while still. From the front, the sleek curve of the bonnet drops into sharp angular full LED lights that are set off perfectly by a two-part dominant black grille. This matches side air vents that draw the eye round to the side, where you can see the distinctive angular Leon wing mirrors and specially designed 19-inch alloy wheels. The rear of the car is subtle, rounded and softer. You could be forgiven for not realising what you were looking at, until you notice the redesigned exhaust pipes. They've been completely re-engineered, not only to drop the pressure at the back end, but also to enhance the sound coming from that great engine, pumping out 10 brake horsepower more than its predecessor. Now it's time to find out what those extra 10 horsepower can do. Well, the previous two models of this car had 265 and 280 brake horsepower, and we really like those cars a lot. We're trying to do an objective review of this car, but it's hard because it's so much fun. Really impressive is the torque range, 350 newton meters, and they're available to you right throughout the rev range, which means you get the power exactly when you want it. The steering is tight and responsive, and the power is all there exactly when you want it. And the brakes, well, they work pretty well too. Jordi Genet used the Leon Cupra to break the lap record for a front-wheel drive production car at the Nürburgring last year. We had the chance to catch up with him and ask him what he thought was so special about the car. Well, I think it's a car that is uh, capable of uh, de developing a very uh, sportive attitude and it's a, it's a car that is really fast, much faster than cars with uh, supposed to be higher categories and uh, when we drive in a circuit we are really, really quick. But at the same time, it's the car I drive with my family, with my kids, and I can go shopping or eating with the family. It's a car that really transmits a lot of emotions. And to have this in only one car with the price it has, I think it's very, very remarkable. The Seat Leon Cupra 290 is limited to a top speed of 250 km per hour and will accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 5.6 seconds with the DSG gearbox or 5.7 seconds with the manual. The driving modes are really easy to select and they make a lot of difference. The athletic Cupra mode is perfect for the open road, while the comfort mode is ideal for when you want to take things a little bit more easily. Clearly, all of this fun comes at a cost. The Leon Cupra is available as a three-door, a five-door, or an estate. Our model is the 5D, which starts from a little over 33,000 euro. We have the performance pack fitted, which will cost you an extra two and a half thousand, making our car with a six-speed manual clock in at about 38,000 euro all in. It does come with some pretty impressive add-ons as standard though. The electronic diff lock is really good, as are the full LED lights and the infotainment system. There's also a full range of driver assistance safety systems available as options, including city emergency braking, lane assist and tiredness recognition. The interior of the car has not been sacrificed for all of that power either. It feels modern, stylish and sporty without overdoing it. The seats are great, they hold you just firmly enough while allowing you the freedom to get in and out of the car easily. The display is well located, clear, functional and accessible and it works well with the intuitive controls. The previous Coopers set the bar pretty high for our expectations for this car but we're really happy to say it's more than delivered in all respects. The 10 extra brake horsepower handles magnificently and amazingly at no cost whatsoever to the practicality of the car.